include using this room as their rain plan. And I'm going to turn down this. <laughs> Up and when, you, when we rent the place, mm -hmm. do we get all of the grounds or just certain pieces of it? So you get access to all the grounds and you get exclusive use of the parts that you've picked as part of your package. That if you have... But somebody else could be here and crash the party. Nobody would crash your party, but if we have, if like, if you don't have people staying in all of the bed and breakfast rooms, it's mm -hmm. just like at a hotel where the common areas need to be available for all the That's guests. That's the ten thousand dollar package to get all of the rooms. The gotcha. Whole. To rent the whole grounds. Mm -hmm. And um, but we we have you know twenty ish weddings a year, and never once. Now that I'm saying that, of course, I'm going to jinx. Yeah, everybody. you better. <laughs> um, but uh, the, the, the people who stay here are very respectful in okay. this space. When we looked at a vineyard and the basement was like an open bar ah. to the public. And I'm like, it's in the same barn. But that's, so, yeah, that's, that's a very bad. different style. All right. So um, this is the solarium. If, if you wanted to do a package that included this, People use it for cocktail hours sometimes. They use it as the rain location for the ceremony, in which case all of these we put on the back table because they're all indoor outdoor. Um, sometimes people use this for their rehearsal dinner venue. Okay. Uh, that's what this option the is. Mirror World South. Oh, my goodness. You want to get married in the Mirror World South. Okay. Good, bad. Is it good or bad? Are you a, a feng shui expert? No, no, sorry. She already knows about me being on TV, so go ahead. You can talk okay. about ghost spirits and all. <laughs> Just different elements. Okay, that's so cool. <laughs> so cool. Um, if you do something that's using the solarium, it also includes using the deck, which has the gas fireplace and spaces out here. Like <laughs> Now, would this be a um, So, if you were using the garden, um, you would like be able to use the deck as an entrance. If you wanted to have an event on the deck, that that would that um, I can't have something happening on the deck that isn't also including the solarium. So, it would those are all kind of a package together. Okay. I'm just wondering if the DJ's got loud enough speakers you could set up on the deck. And you can... Do you do 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 thing? No, I'll get do 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 do. Because look, there's no walk bar from here to there. I know. So if you're in heels, you're gonna sink. Okay. Are you more interested in being over next to the water? No. Here's no. fine. <laughs> we we, ha we do weddings over there all the time, so <laughs> lots of options. The nice one about this is that it does have the um, solid pathway already in place, so you have a structured aisle. Um, we do white folding fan back chairs on either side and with decor, um, you're obviously welcome to leave it plain, but if you want to decorate, you can hang, drape, zip tie, tie, anything you like. We just ask that you don't add any holes or use anything sticky enough that it'll leave a residue. Right. Um, but flowers, garlands, chiffon, whatever you like. Okay. And, um... We do three season planting, so our perennials are about to kick in. If at the end of April they haven't kicked in yet, we'll fill in with annuals. So than no, the other place because yeah. they were doing mid season to end of season perennials. Hmm. Yeah. We, we try and make sure that we have yeah. something all the time. I looked at her like, you don't do three seasons? Like, why would you not? <laughs> so that's awesome that you do. Right, yeah, it's important to us. Um, yeah, so that's the end of April, the trees usually aren't fully leafed out yet, no, but at least the grass will be green and we can get flowers in the flower no, beds. No, it represents the beginning of our marriage. Mm -hmm. so, the birth. The birth of our marriage. Yes. I love it. I love it. <laughs> um, I'll show you these other ones just in case they're interesting to you. But I think we're set on this one. I think Unless you want to look at that one. Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, this is where it's at. 
Okay. Like I'm already thinking, where the hell is DJ gonna sit? Be out of my way. Usually, <laughs> um, that that table in the corner there, mm -hmm. we can move that out of the way. Or the DJs usually have the bigger setup in the barn and just have a smaller auxiliary speaker mm -hmm. here, and they'll just work with the laptop off of that table. So they'll be out of your pictures because they're over in the corner, but they have a clear sight line. How does Sudan work out here? We do it on the sides in um, white folding chairs that will arrange however you want them. So you kind of tell us we do a 30-day site visit where you'll tell us you know how many you want in each row how many rows on we're each doing side. 80 mm -hmm. paying for an 80 package 40 and 40 40 and 40 so and who cares eight on, rows who's of on five, what side eight rows of five yeah yeah sometimes people like to do it um in even numbers since people usually go to weddings in pairs so they would like sometimes people like to do six and then eight and then eight and like six and six and then eight, 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 eight. It just depends on that what kind of shape you want it to be. To have it fan out like a little heart. Mm -hmm. Like you're walking into the top of the heart. So when we're standing there, it looks like a heart. And it's just I the family. this romantic Well, they're heart. white chairs, right? Yep. So the drone shot above would look like a heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and it would, so this is with it um, in a drone shot with it straight. So if you guys have it like that and it's just going down, 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 down. Right. It would be lovely. Like angle it mm -hmm. so the front two sheet chairs would pretty much would be like the wish you were here the, uh, the little heaven one it. that's so cool that would be gorgeous <laughs> in memory of and wish you were here yeah, yeah. yeah. his dad's not with us though hey, sorry i love that you can find a way to like have him be the point of the heart right at the front yeah. now we just put him with us you know he'll be right up front of <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome if my mom actually brought him out. She probably will. Don't tempt her. <laughs> Might have to mention it to her. Grandma and Grandpa would be... I don't know. Does she have the ashes of them, too? For Grandma and Grandpa? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. She'll bring them all. Sections of them, not all of them. Yeah, he lost his dad to cancer, too. Almost three years ago. Mm -hmm. What are these? Sections of them. He's thinking of a heart shape now. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of those. It's a white dogwood cherry? It's a white something? So it's white dogwood is a thing. It's spliced. Um, I think it's a white dogwood cherry. As we go towards the barn, Do we're going to walk past white? my mom. Um, no, but you're, I mean, usually weddings out here, everything is still very light. So kind of mood lighting hasn't been a focus because everybody is in their reception space by then gotcha. that if you want to come back and do pictures later you're welcome to oh no to i was bring... wondering what color they bloomed oh i thought you said that they lit up um let's ask her mom my mom <laughs> um we're about to walk past her and she is definitely the gardener who knows way more about i live next to a nursery so it's so like you like really yeah get to experience the full gamut and learn all the lingo Flowers I'm pretty good on. Trees. Like got a lot of space for growth. So I know trees. Oh and my gosh. <laughs> like I fished at small farm ponds majority of my growing up. So oh like, my gosh. I love it. I like the sound of them. Me too. I want to clean this up so <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, come on. Let's go before you back over here again. Can I clean that for you? I was gonna John boat out of it and just like oh, later and clean that front view up. Don't tempt him, you will. <laughs> we definitely are very close to our start of the season cleanup, but we're gonna make for another couple of weeks. Uh... Now I'll come back here and take the on season video for you guys for my YouTube. <laughs> Love it. Because a lot of my friends that are getting married all What's on barns. It's a gravestone. Um, so that's an interesting story. It's a stone without a grave. Okay. Um, the gentleman who was once with that stone is now in the Catholic cemetery um, over by the Cash Town Inn. Um, and that stone was abandoned in a field. And the Murdoch family, who used to farm land over there, um, found it in the field once and brought it home here and left it in the bottom of the barn. And then mm. when we got the barn, that was in it. And so we're like, well, can't have it just like hiding in the middle of the basement of the barn. <laughs> Creeping people out. <laughs> you know, gotta, gotta um, give it some light. Where do the normal parties 
take after or photos? Photos, portraits. So usually um, we'll move the guests over to the front patios so that you guys can spread and do portraits. So portraits of the pergola, having portraits of the couple underneath that arch we just walked through, portraits next to the pond, portraits under this arch, portraits with the tree, pretty much anywhere you see. Um, we do a lot of portraits at the little chairs. I wonder if the pond will green up by the end of April. This is the first year that, that that's a, usually we used to have big lotuses and that's I think water iris and so mm -hmm. I'm not sure this is the first season we've had it so I haven't seen what it looks like when it kicks in. I only saw it grow from when Baby, it first Baby, you can always in. come back in April and look. Drop a bale of straw on it. Really? Yeah. What does that do? It cleans up all the little beady algae. Okay. Just like put a bale of straw in. Drop a bale of straw in the corner and stake it to the land. Okay. And then um, if you don't already, go to like a uh, pet book store, mm -hmm. get a crap ton of goldfish feeder fish, mm -hmm. and just dump it in. Because they'll eat the algae too? It'll turn into carp. And the goldfish will turn into carp and they'll get this big and you'll have a bunch of gold fish floating around that you can see from the shore. I bet that the turtles that live there would have blast. Yeah. <laughs> they might not let them get to, to full size, but But some of them might live. Some of them might make it through, depending but on how the, uh, you don't want to dump a thousand dollar koi into it. The goldfish. But a couple a couple bags of feeder fish. Alright. I love it. Love it. Just tell it, our mom. <laughs> it, would turn, it would turn it really clear. Like, extremely clear. Because they, um, they fill the mud through their gills pretty well. Can you give us tips on everything um, while we're going so that we can just... <laughs> I could. He will. Little tweaks we can do. And, uh, He's already going, so you got I him. Could. I really stop. will. I'd, <laughs> I'm getting me started. I want to open I like it. I, you already started. <laughs> like I said, she's already got you started. Mm -hmm. Me, it's like, here, kitty, kitty. I'll play with the cats. You play with the. <laughs> I run a dog business, so. <laughs> oh, I love it. What do you do with the dogs? Like... Train dogs, house sit, board. Well, I used to board. Now that we have puppies, yeah. Stop. Look, there we go. <laughs> it's full of spikes. We just line the house with them. Oh, jeez. So yeah, so we'll say I've trained even an FBI dog, so it had to, so cool. to get that, except that it had to go all the way to the vice president of the United States to get me approved, yeah. Um, we feed the cats. But not the squirrels or the birds or anything? Squirrels here for the cat food, what are you talking about? We, there's so many walnut trees. It's for the wedding. There goes one now, there goes a cardinal. That's red male too. That's all red. We get a lot of cardinals here. So if you fed those? Mm-hmm. You'll get them more and more to come here. It was, those represent spirits of lost parents and like family members and mm. friends and family. It was represented by the red cardinal. Mm -hmm. So if you want to start feeding them now. If you start feeding them now, when they get there, bad. You'll, get, <laughs> yeah. you'll get doves for ceremonies. You'll get cardinals That's to visit. Cool. And since it's a battlefield, and yeah, people know. Mm -hmm. I love it. I'm not saying like, you know, throw out enough that the, the mice can feed on it. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, the well, the barn cats take runner. care of them. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm sure the barn cats would take care of the You know, with the, the Dutch carrots, you know, my mom's going to be all over. It's like, take a picture of me and she's going to ask dad to take a picture of that. We're German, so we're all about the Dutch. <laughs> I'm going to go ask her what the tree is. While you guys peek at the <laughs> I would patios. definitely send my mom. Like two wildlife feeding stations. Uh huh. On each side. As so long as it doesn't turn into a cat buffet. Right. So, the cat, so that's why you do it on each side away from the ceremony. Mm -hmm. So the wildlife flying back and forth, but any predator action, any like so negative, is away from it. I love it. I'll be back in 10 seconds with an answer. All right. Video. We're going to be up here. Why well, she said check out this if we want it? Thanks. That'd be great to throw like 10 pounds. You know, you can take a picture in that. 10 pounds of bird feed behind the pergola so the birds are flying in during the wedding. Mm -hmm. Tell mom, here's your uh, horse and carriage without the horses. Specko willow, there you go. That's what it's called. Specko willow on dog tree. So there's the willow. Mm -hmm. 
those two willow trees behind it. Yeah, the see? The you neighbors like? said that the dogwood out front of my house is like some type of religious strong point to Christianity. So, because yeah. I think didn't they get hung by or the cross was made out of dogwood? Uh, you have to ask my mom. Oh, they have horse. Do they have real horses here? Yeah, but there's a horse pail thing. And I thought I saw him when we came in. I'm like, Mom, here's your horse and here's your carriage. Just not together. Here she comes. I like the outdoor seating. Mm-hmm. I wish your, they had lights out Isn't here. that your fireplace thing? Or no? Yeah. I wish they had lights out here, though. This would be a great drinking spot. You ask if you can put lights out. Or if they can before. Well, these light over here. They are speckled willows. Yeah, willows. Her, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Really good one. Good. Um, so you've discovered the fire pit area. Yeah, see, it was right. wonderful. Um, they're all propane because we can't have anything with embers this close to 200 year old wood. Um, if you wanted to have some kind of a bonfire at the end of the night with real wood, we have a fire pit over on the Great Lawn. Um, I will say bonfire is all you. <laughs> we park people in this upper field. We'll I got the horses figured. down there. Ah, oh, they do have horses. There we go. We've got two. We've got a horse truck. and a pony. Yeah, what? I'm burning the truck. Somebody's going to get stuck. <laughs> <laughs> the, it, I mean, again, I'm not going to guarantee anything isn't going to happen because that will guarantee that it will. But yeah, we've had pretty good luck. Um, oh, I would love to take a picture of you and your suit pulling people out. <laughs> Everybody bring your tents. You might get stuck. We're not pulling you out tonight. We, um, we open watch. up those gates for driving in and then people enter through this little gate right here. I like the mountain view back there. Me too. Um, Are we, for, as far as decorations, would we be able to hang lights around the fire area? Mm -hmm. Because I noticed a bunch of lights out. Yeah, no, we don't open, have no anything open over the top, but um, around the edges there are really thin little fairy lights on the fence already. Okay. Um, and then those are solar lanterns yeah, I can, there. I and see. Yeah. Put, um, so it, is, a it does couch. light up. I mean, it's not bright, not but like it's, just, it's not like that. So there's nothing overhead. You can get the solar sparkles. lights for the ground. Yeah, you can just light it up. And then uh, caterers usually tuck in a tent over on this side right here so that they are not in any pictures, but they have very fast access. Do you have your own caterers? We have, we don't have an on-site one, but we have a preferred vendor list that we'll send you with that have ones that have been here and done a great job. But if you have someone that you want to work with instead, um, we're open to new people too. They just have to do a site visit first. And bar, liquor? You have to serve everything, um, have it served by a bartender and we ask that you focus your choices so that it's wine, beer, cider, champagne, whatever. Um, if you're doing hard alcohol, we want you to do two signature cocktails that have to have a non-alcoholic mixer. Oh, of course. So no shots, no full bar. My parents don't do liquor, so they're non-alcoholic okay. people. Okay. <laughs> He's alcoholic. You want some? I don't drink mixed drinks. No. It'd be wine and whiskey. Or beer. <laughs> I got the whole wall of whiskey for the event. So after the guests leave, um, you and anyone else who's spending the night are welcome to drink whatever you want because you're adults staying at a hotel. Right. It's just that while we are in event okay. mode and yeah. there's some people driving, we can't track who's... I'll make a drive if I have to. <laughs> We also have a breathalyzer. We can always say, no, you got to breathe in this before you leave. Oh. So the barn is very clearly in winter mode right now. Um, in a couple of weeks, we'll do a deep clean. It's um, from 1820. The, as much of the original wood is preserved as possible. And then everything else that couldn't be was replaced and stabilized. Um, where this platform is up here is where people usually do a sweetheart table. Okay. Um, it's nice to have the view behind you in the cross breeze if it's a colder day. We'll close those doors behind you so you stay warm. And if that isn't making enough of a dent in the temperature, we'll close one of these doors. And if um, that isn't enough, then we'll bring the second door closed, um, but we just have to leave an egress that has a quick release knot on it so we can't leave it tight, tight, tight. It right. needs to have a quick release with some space because um, we're in a 200-year-old barn. Right. 
So no heaters. <laughs> we have um, three ventless propane heaters that you're welcome to borrow. You would just need to like, you know, have you and your two best friends unhook like your barbecues. In, like a plug-in, like a little round turbo heater. So um, like the electric. power can't handle electric heaters, so it has to be the propane. Okay. Um, but they each cover a thousand square feet. So while it's not as efficient in here as it would be in like a garage or something insulated, the, it still like makes a, a nice... Like a Mr. Buddy dent. or something? Like so little... it's, it's like this big and there's three of them and you put the large propane tanks on okay. them and they're um they're radiant heat so it's not heating the air it's heating the people and the objects okay. and um yeah and we'll change the right now the fans are pushing the warm air down if it's a hot day we'll switch the directions but we try and take advantage of as many different ways to keep the heat with the people as possible right. um, that furniture goes out on the patio next to the carriage, and that uh, wicker furniture goes out at the fire pits. So all of these bays are empty, and we'll put 60-inch um, round tables for your guests on the sides, and you guys can choose whether you want a head table, sweetheart table, whatever you want up there. People, if they're doing a buffet, usually run it down at this end of the barn over here so that um, the top half is empty for a first dance if you wanted to do that before you sat down and ate. Um, after food service, the caterers will pull their stuff and our staff will break down the tables so your dance floor will double once everybody's ready to dance. Okay. There's a DJ loft up top. It's wired with um, sound and power going to the bottom of both of these ladders so that the speakers really focus the sound on the people in the middle, so the dancers like can feel the bass in their bones, but the people on the outside can still talk to each other. Um, there's two bathrooms underneath the DJ loft. Both are ADA compliant. Um, I stick my head more. Yeah. That one is full of our tables, keeping them clean for the season. The squirrels love it in here. They do. Mm -hmm. We kick everybody out once, um, once we're ready for the season, so but over the winter, we're suckers for animals. Um, the rental Table includes linen. either white or ivory linens. We'll do a solid color down to the floor and then a damask topper on top that's pretty stain resistant. Yeah, my wedding dress is ivory. Oh, nice. So. Some people like to match it, some people like to contrast. You know, it works both ways. That's your choice. Mm-hmm. There is a little secret bat cave down to the bedroom that's underneath the barn. So if at any point during your wedding you guys just like need a minute, you can sneak down and go in the door on the left. The kids down there. And <laughs> I have two of my own. They're teenagers. I'm like teenagers. hide them down there. And <laughs> I love it. I love Put the it. Xbox or something down there. Oh yeah, there you go. There's a TV down there. You can hook oh it yeah, up. they're gonna be ending up like, where's my kids down in the back cave? What? <laughs> Don't worry, they're hidden. All of David's, all of Christine's, yours. Can we see how big that room is? <laughs> um, I would love to show it to you. It's like, occupied right now, oh, okay. but it's a nice big room. Or, uh, um, I'll show you a comparable room in the inn. Is it the size like this half of the barn? Or? So it's, um, it's bathroom is... Right where the water system is. Here. Okay. okay. And it has a jacuzzi tub, a walk-in shower, a double Okay, maybe we not want to put the kids space. down there if it has a jacuzzi tub. We might want to stumble down there after we're done drinking. The bedroom right. itself is from here up until this section of beams over there, and it's from here over. Okay. It's a pretty big room. It has a king-size bed, a twin day bed, a twin trundle. It has a table, a couple of chairs, lots of space okay. in it. View out the back or no? It has a patio onto the port onto the back porch with the horses. Oh, that's when the people were down there. I was like, what are they doing over there? So that's what it was. Horses. Yeah. Now, is that included in the... It's included in the, um, the barn rental. The back cave. Did you want to stay down there for the night? Also, I don't know. You have to ask her. If it's that's including that's the two bedrooms or what? The two bedrooms. So that's one of the two. That's one of the two. So we can stay down there for the, mm -hmm. the night. That's probably going to be where me and the girls are if it's got a trundle and a day bed and all that. So it is another one, which you might prefer instead. Usually the gentlemen prefer that one and the ladies prefer the other one. Hey. Um, I can show you he why. Saying, well, <laughs> are, you, are you going to stay before the wedding? Are you going to stay in the barn? 
Do what? All right, so the package has the two nights, two bedrooms. That bedroom is one, and the other one in the barn. She said the gentleman the other usually... Other one in what barn? This is the barn. The other one in the farmhouse. Yes, another. So there's two bedrooms, two nights. Okay. I said me and the girls stay. In the house house. And you guys stay here yeah. in the barn. Oh, that's going to be fun. I'm going to put on Facebook. So my uh, soon-to-be husband's in the barn sleeping with it. Because I got, <laughs> I got the three smokers and my 12 drinkers. So definitely I have a smoke, an outside yeah. patio well, that takes care of the smokers. And then okay. Victory's the smoker, so she'll probably come out here and then mingle there's a little patio outside of the girls. Before the wedding, too. she'll get, yeah. Not too many of the girls smoke. So. All right, it would be, yeah, Lexi. Lexi better not be starting the smoke in like next year. Lexi's my oldest. And we um, we have three little vintage settees that form a U-shaped couch that we put underneath that walnut tree that has the solar lanterns in it, which most people use as a smoking area so that people can smoke away enough from the barn away. but still be able to see the action. You get to sleep with the horses and the cows. Mm -hmm. I like picking them. My mom would be like, I'm spending the night here too. <laughs> she probably will. Maybe what am I talking about? I'm going to spend the night the night before. Yes, that's what we're talking about. You're no, here the I'm night before. Spend the night the night of. Why would I spend the we're night talking about you and the grooms. We'll be at the house. Okay, then me and the girls will take the barn. See, there we go. <laughs> and whoever like is coming far away, will take the house, and they're gonna have to get all along. Like yeah, your mom and your brother and all that coming from New Jersey. The main reason, um, along with it just being fun to stay together, um, is that if you want to have somewhere to get dressed, that our overnight rooms are our dressing rooms. Right, so, my hairdresser and all. So if you want to no, have, have to ask that. to put your outfits on. This other place I had... Uh, do you allow her yes. to do her hair? The hairdresser makeup? allowed to be here to do it? Yeah. See? I don't like that other place now. <laughs> the other place is like, I'm a hairdresser, and they're not allowed to be here the day before to... I'm like, what? Did they say why? No, they just said just not allowed. And I'm like, yeah, but the hairdresser couldn't come and do it. They're like, no, you have to do your hair elsewhere and then come there and then get ready for I'm like, no, I've done that before. My hair was a total, I was married once and he was too. Mm -hmm. My hair was a total disaster. I didn't even like it at my wedding and I couldn't do anything about it. I don't know what their logic is. I don't know. It was just, that thing upset me. It does look like it, doesn't it? Don't get started on that either. Oh my goodness. See, there we go. Mm -hmm. You're going to be like, so this is a discount on our wedding if I do this for you, right? Yeah, here's a, we have our new maintenance man about to move in. It's going to take me like two weeks solid. Definitely. Great, honey. Now you're going to make the wedding package go lower because you're going to be here doing it all. Okay. Can you decorate for me, Joe? Yeah, you don't mind giving him up for a week or two, right? Just share the love. He'll bring his nephew. Maybe my son will come. Who knows? My son will go fishing in the pond. As long as the snapping turtle don't get his toes. Oh, the snapping turtle. I don't know. If you get snapping turtle, snapping turtle stews good. <laughs> so what do you think on the outside? Now, do you have a valet that does parking, or? Um, so, the event team structure is, I'll be here all day, so I'll be here from like 9 or 10 a.m. until we're wrapped, which usually is about midnight. And then I'll have an opener who's here from 10 to 6, and then I'll have a closer who's here from um, 3 or 4 to 12. And so, right at that overlap time, usually people like to have ceremonies around 3 or 4. So I'll have two team members helping me right when all of your guests are arriving and parking. So we'll have someone directing parking and someone kind of directing people after they're out of their cars, getting them back to the garden. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be helping to receive vendors, giving you guys like time countdown. So you're all getting where you need to be at the right okay. time, that kind of thing. Um, do you want to see a few of the rooms in case people? Yes. Yeah, so let me show you, especially um, with your, yeah, I was gonna say with your with your work with that kind of stuff that this part of the house is from 1809, 
During the Battle of Gettysburg, Anna and Cornelius Hotellen were the owners. They were abolitionists. They let General Wesley Merritt use the upstairs as a headquarters. And um, some of the rooms are named after different units that fought on the property. Somebody's here. Mm -hmm. Now you already felt it coming through the door. What are you talking about? Somebody good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. See what kind of vibe you're picking up. Oh, well, oh, say not only do we have abilities, my mom does, his mom, so you're going to have a lot Everybody of... Everybody picking up everything. Yeah. I love it. I love it. This was the parlor of the original house, and that room right there was the original winter kitchen, and um, where they would eat, obviously. Um, every room has its own bathroom. Every room has fridge, coffee maker, Wi-Fi, direct TV. The nice thing about this room is that it has a gas fireplace. Sometimes it feels chilly. It might be cozy. Um, this is one of our queen size rooms. It's one of our traditional rooms with like a traditional tub shower combo. Okay. Um, the wedding block price point for this room is two nineteen dollars a night if they're staying two nights. And if they're only staying one night, there's a $50 single night surcharge. I can show you the upstairs too in case you pick up any vines. But <laughs> we're gonna be there, your uh, spirits tour for when people come by. We're like, I oh, love let, me, it. let me call these people, they're half an hour away. Let me uh. <laughs> <laughs> So, this suite starts at that door that you just went through, and the suite is the entire upstairs of the old farmhouse. This is the main bedroom which has a king bed and a guest fireplace. There's also an adjoining room with a full bed. And what used to be the third bedroom got converted into a bathroom in the 70s. Mm -hmm. And what extra is this one? This one is $269 um, at the wedding rate. And that's so double extra occupancy. 500 for both of them? Um, 220, 260, yes. And then if you, um, if you have more than two people in a room, it's an additional $25 per person per night for anyone above double occupancy. Okay. And overnight stays include a delicious home-cooked breakfast and we'll tailor towards everybody's um, allergies or if we have some vegans in the house, whatever. I don't um, know if we have it on the deal. What? Vegans. Everybody eats meat. Good. Thank God. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and, uh, and then it also includes a morning history program for those that are interested. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's that? Oh, people who don't eat food. <laughs> <laughs> You're stealing my food's food. Mm -hmm. I don't think it really is a sermon. <laughs> Yeah, you were saying, because I know you were saying about a day bed and all that, because I know if the girls, I'm going to have five girls. Yeah, let me show you that room. Because that's my main thing. As long as us girls, like, if we can share in one room, and then whoever's out of town needs a room. If they want, they can do it. So, um, in What's this... What's the story? That is a diorama of Colt Hill, I believe. Yes. From the second day. Of Gettys. Is that close? Um, Colts Hill is on the other side of town. But, uh, um, not, yeah. not this level of history. Different yeah. kinds of history. You're drawn to. Um, above us, there are three bedrooms here. Um, there's two with queen beds, one with both a queen and a full. All of those rooms are two nineteen a night rooms. Okay. Above this room, there are two rooms. Um, one is a 219 room that has a king bed, and then the other one is a 269 room that has a king bed and an adjoining room with a twin bed. Okay. And this room used to be the porch. That's my show. Okay. <laughs> no, the other room. You said two rooms with the uh, thing. So I think this is barn one. one and then this one? Yeah, or? no, we're about to go to the other one. Oh, okay. okay. 
Um, this is just as we're going past. Might as well see what your guests might choose to. Stay I'll at. put them in single beds. Put all the bad kids in there. <laughs> <laughs> and Good then we'll go that. down yeah. to the one. You're gonna look at it. This extra parking back here. Yeah, that's the second parking lot for overnight guests. Okay. And there's four spots up at the top of this ramp in case there's anyone that needs handicap access. And then there's a little more spots too. I like the kid room. Just hatch. Mm -hmm. So they get view of the ceremony pretty well. Mm -hmm. So anybody that's staying here can never see the ceremony. Yeah, that's going to be beautiful. Like, small see. female. Yeah, didn't, you, didn't you pick up female? Oh, no, I did. That's yeah. why. Yeah, female you in there. Smell. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> so cool. That's why I'm like, let me go check this other area with the kids' stuff. Because <laughs> that so that's that's where you were feeling it was mm -hmm. in that little room. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm like, I'm like, well, I was trying to pick up your smell to see if it was you, and it wasn't you because I bypassed you like a couple times. <laughs> Oh, wait till my mom gets here. I was going to say. Yeah, she's going to class. My mom will tell you. And... So cool. <laughs> this is the room that the ladies usually choose. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can see three of us fitting in there. My three best friends. <laughs> and then Tracy, twin me, twin. and Kara. <laughs> twin day bed with a twin bundle. Room for a cot. And then usually, hair and makeup people come here. And you, you can, if you want to avoid the stairs, you can just go straight out. I don't think you want me on the, because you'll see me before I get down there. That's a thing you don't want. You'll, at what? All right. If I use the deck, he'll start playing by the time you leave the upstairs room. And you're going to automatically see me, or I can be right here and you won't see me until I leave these doors. Which one would you like to see me walk down the stairs, fall? We're gonna be goofing off up there until like the music. Good, I can watch you goof off. You're like, oh, we'll just make him wait five more minutes because he's no, goofing off until he's. Be closed. Huh? Curtain's gonna be closed. Yeah, but my girls can. Pe you know my girls. Except the one you haven't met, though. I'd rather have you upstairs. Okay. What's the chances of seeing you before the ceremony are too much? Not you know those girls are gonna hide. Unless we can tempt the window. I mean, we would. <laughs> Don't usually... get started on that. Oh, he tends windows too. Usually what people do is they have the curtains closed and then after the groom and the groomsmen get um, into places, then we'll bring the bride up and then she'll come down. So you can be nice and uh, concealed until the big reveal. Do you think you can do the stairs in your dress? Mm-hmm. Okay. With your mom or and she's not putting straps on the freaking never mind. I love you, mom. Yeah, until you step on it, it goes. <laughs> That's what he was saying. I said, I'll have a little corset right there, too. I like the shower door. So well, you can't come down here and use the shower. So, afterwards. Oh, this, no, so Anna and Cornelius Hotel, that I was telling you guys about, um, this room is named after Anna. So this is the Anna's garden room, and it has a garden gate for the shower. The one next door is Hotel and's Hideaway. It also has a walk-in rain shower. That one has like a stone arch over it, kind of as an homage to the Underground Railroad because they were abolitionists. So mm -hmm. that has some themes happening in these rooms. Yeah. Um, this one and the room next door both have big soaking tubs. The vanity in this room is twice the size of the one next door. But if you have someone else staying um, that wants a more modern room than the ones in the farmhouse, um, the one next door is a good choice. It's occupied right now. I'll take the farmhouse. I'll be in the barn. Probably you know my mom. Drive this room. I don't know. Probably this one has the hair and makeup. But you know my mom and your mom and all that probably gonna be here the night before to decorate. You got two rooms. And that's... I know that's the two rooms. This one and the one in the barn. Okay. But I'm saying the ones that are gonna decorate the barn should stay in the barn. <laughs> you know what my mom's gonna do? She can be late because she can be playing with the horses. Horses like to be played with. My mom used to have a horse. Yeah, we can. But we need to decorate too. This is more appropriate for the suite. Yeah. And those that can't take stairs can come out. Well, you're hidden and away from everything, but you're still right involved with everything. Mm -hmm. I can watch you outside. Just sneak up and make your entrance. Exactly. <laughs> 
And then, ta-da, once you appear, out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. <laughs> I were like, wait, she was down there, not anymore. So look, it gives you plenty of exits to run the hell away, too. <laughs> I'm not running away. I should have ran away the first time. Mm. That didn't happen. But I got two kids <laughs> out of it, so. <laughs> Now, you kind of had a good overview of the space. I'd be um, happy to talk you through our vendors and stuff. If you have any questions about packages, I can talk you through those too, but it seems like you've got a pretty solid understanding uh, of them. My mom's going to be up here talking to your ferns. She talk talks to ferns? They grow when you talk to them. Yeah. Are you guys Kerner, Cardinal? Oh my gosh. So if you fed them, like that white thing, uh -huh. and then like the guest parking, uh -huh. and they, they would nest here. That's so cool. And that's a good one. Really mm -hmm. good show. Three of them all together. You see the male pig out? Mm -hmm. See the male peek out? The first one we went up the stairs, that doorway. You see the male peek out? Yeah. Somebody peeked out. You have a mail there and you have a mail there and you have a female. Oh my gosh, I love it!